like I said plenty of times before, these guys would have been in boxing in the heavyweight division. Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James, all these superstar athletes you see in the NBA, these guys that went to the NFL, these would have been your boxing heavyweight division. All this personality, all this athleticism, all this talent. And it didn't happen. It didn't flourish because of the growth of other sports like the NBA, the growth of the NFL. They got the networks, they got the sponsorships, and the money started dwindling downwards because boxing in the heavyweight division didn't have its big stars no more. So while they're waiting for a heavyweight division to emerge, it couldn't. Because at that time, the heavyweight division basically had nothing left of talent, a pool of people who were dedicated. Everybody who was in the heavyweight division was just in it. They didn't really take it serious. They were heavyweights just because they were heavy. And they weren't very serious and they wasn't very dedicated to the sport. And it was something, it was fighters that you couldn't relate to. They had basically no personality and they were just feeding pigeons for anybody to come along. And here the Klitschko's are dedicated boxers who probably wouldn't make it in no other sport but what they're doing. And it, they easily took the heavyweight division over. They caught the division at the right time and now I think we might see a change. But what people also forget is that boxing went through this drought before but it was great heavyweight fights out there but there was no big name it was a big gap left when Ali was gone at the heavyweight division yeah Larry Holmes was out there and he was the heavyweight champion but Larry Holmes didn't bring the excitement and the, and the roar that the crowd wanted to see they didn't really like Larry Holmes. It was only once Larry Holmes beat Muhammad Ali did he start to get some prominence. Did he start to get some respect from the people where they start paying attention to Larry Holmes. But other than that, Larry Holmes in that division was basically just another guy. And then that started to die down. And then the welterweight slash middleweight division was the hottest thing in boxing and kept it alive where you had what they call the big four, Duran, Hagler, Leonard, and Hearns. And the, the sport was marketed around them because they needed to rebuild the heavyweight division. So when Mike Tyson came along, it was like an explosion hit because now it was okay this is new this is exciting and this is the best thing we've seen in a long time in the sport so when Mike Tyson was coming up and he was beating all these other champions and a lot of them were older and in their prime and he was beating them that's why a lot of people criticize Mike Tyson oh Mike Tyson didn't fight these guys they were in their prime no, they fought. They were still good. It's just that Mike Tyson was young, raw, full of talent. But he was basically in a division where it wasn't going to be too many guys his age that could challenge him. And Terrell Biggs, they thought, was to be that guy that could challenge Mike Tyson, and he wasn't. It was like a man versus boys. So he easily took over the heavyweight division, but the point of the matter is, when Mike took it over, it brought the attention, the roar, the, the cry, everybody started watching the heavyweight division. 
So even other fights that took place at heavyweight was making good money because people were back interested in the heavyweight division to see who would challenge Mike Tyson. You know, so that was it. It was done. But with these athletes today, imagine these guys with this personality, this type of athleticism. They're back in the sport of boxing. What would that do? What would that bring? What kind of energy would that bring to the sport? You know, that would be that would be amazing. How boxing would have been if these guys were in the league or in the sport rather instead of the NBA. So that's why the heavyweight division is going to have a hard time. Because if you're not good enough to make the NBA, then yeah, boxing is going to be your second choice. But then again, did you dedicate your life to just wanting to be a boxer? See, people used to dedicate their lives to want to box because it paid more. Now, you'd rather go to the NBA. Much better salary, less risk. So if you 6'8", 200 some pounds, why let some guy pound on you to death when you can go play basketball or football? That, that became the norm, and that's why we're in the state we're in in the heavyweight division. Will it come back promising again? I, I don't know. You know, Deontay Wilders are like one in a million. You know, a guy like him should have been in the NBA or NFL. You know, it's, you can see he's learning on the job because he probably haven't been boxing that long in his career, you know, so. Who knows? But I'm done. You get my message.